for this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Desmos to make your letters. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make a folder. So we're going to be working with a ton of equations here, so it's going to get a little messy and confusing. So what I want you to do is I want you to start sorting all of your letters into folders as you go, so it's a little less overwhelming to look at. So to make a folder, you're going to click the little plus sign in the top left hand corner and click folder. Now I'm just going to label my folder K because I'm going to start by making a K. Now I'm just going to go through and start making my equations and then at the end we're going to put these into our nice folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start making a line. So I'm just going to start by putting in the general equation of a line. Now see how it says add slider and those are going to come up. I'm just going to click all here. And that lets me play around with my lines like this to get exactly where I want my line to be. So I think that is a good spot for my line. I want it a little bit more straight up and down, something along those lines. So now I'm just going to write out that equation because I don't want to keep these sliders throughout all of my equations. It's just going to get really, really busy and really messy. So I'm just going to read my, my equation. Y equals M is negative 2.3. X and B is negative 4.6. There we go. So now I can delete that and my sliders. And the next thing I have to do is I need to restrict the domain on this. So I don't want this whole line. I want just where my bubble letters are going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this big ABC button in the left, bottom left hand corner and click these little squiggly brackets here. And now I can restrict my domain. So I'm just going to say what X can be here. So ideally I'm thinking that it'd be nice if my x was between negative 6 and negative 3. So I'm just going to say negative 6 is less than x, which is less than negative 3. And of course you can say less than or equal to, whatever you prefer. But now I have my line just like that, exactly where I wanted it. Now we can start building the rest of the letter. So you need a variety of types of functions here. So it's really up to you to which ones you want to use and how you want to use them. The next one I think I'm going to use here is I think I could use a root function off the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out the general equation for my root function. So that is y equals a square root of k x minus d, and then we'll have plus c at the end. Now I'm just going to use my sliders for a moment to help me figure out what numbers would move my red line over there. So I'd like to move it over to the left. So let's move it over to the left a bit. Definitely need to move it up. So remember, our c is moving this up and down and our d is moving it over. There we go, something along these lines. I'm doing this kind of quickly, so if you, um, you might be able to do a little bit better of a job than I am. Um, there we go. Oh, I had it and it just doesn't wanna go. I'm just gonna type in negative six because it doesn't want to do that. Okay, so now, that is my equation. I think that looks good. So now I'm just going to rewrite the equation with those a, k, d, and c values in it, just so I can clean it up a bit. So y equals a is one, so we don't need to write it. k, we also made one. d is negative six. And then we'll have plus 9.2. There we go. So now I can delete all of these because I've used them. There we go. And now I should want to restrict my domain. 
So again, I click the big ABC in the bottom of the left-hand corner. I click these squiggly brackets and my X has to be smaller than, let's end that at negative 3.5, maybe a little bit less. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And we'll close that bracket and then we're done. Now I'm just going to continue this process with a variety of equations to try and build my letters. So the next part I'm gonna do is kind of the dip in the K, and I'm just gonna try a quadratic for it and see if it works. So again, I'm just going to tape out the general equation of my quadratic, x minus h squared plus k. I'm gonna add sliders for all of those and I need to move it over a bit. Definitely need to move it up, move it over some more, move it up. Oops. It's a little bit easier to do this on a computer. My little sliders there. There we go. Okay. And now I am just going to, um, actually, maybe I'll make it a little bit skinnier. There we go. That's what I want. Sorry, it's really hard on the iPad to move these back and forth, so. 2.8. I'll just type it in manually. There we go. So now I'm just going to rewrite my equation with those numbers in it so I can clean it up. A we have as 2.5, x is 2.8 squared, and then we added 7.9 at the top. So now I can get rid of all of these things to clean it up. And now I can restrict my domain so that it's only the part of the parabola that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict this. It's at about um, 10. We'll try to figure out just at the end, which I said was 3.9. Negative 3.9 is going to be less than x, which is going to be less than wherever I want it to end. So we'll try negative one. See, that's a little bit too much. So we'll try negative two, maybe negative 1.5. You kind of have to play around with this a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit so it looks a little nicer. There we go. Oops undo. So there is an undo function in case you do that because it happens. Oops, undo again. Sorry, it is a little bit tricky to work with this on an iPad. Okay, so now what you would do is you would continue working with these until we have our little bubble letter. And once you're done that, it can be nice if you want to change all the colors to match, like this. You can also make them dotted if you wanted to try something different, but it's up to you. And then the nice thing is, once I'm done all of these, I am just going to take them and I'm going to put them all into this folder that I created. That way I can just keep it all neat. So I'm just going to put my cursor on here. I'm just going to put them into the folder if it decides to let me. Maybe not. OK, 
too. So they're not being, they're not wanting to go into the folder. One did. There we go. It's kind of hard on the iPad to get them in there, but you should just be able to drag and drop them into the folder. There we go. So finally they went in. And now if I click that, you'll see all my nice equations. So all you'll do is you'll continue on like that and I'll finish this off and post the rest of it on Classroom, at least the K.